Every few years, I like to start a big project to get a different view of the wildlife through the seasons. So I set about building a watering hole for passing wildlife in a small patch of woodland. Today, we're putting this pond in. We're having enough rain today to probably fill it. I roped in some help to set the pond in place, ready to fit it with cameras that will follow the comings and goings over a year. I'm going to put my cameras back here, and the wildlife comes up through a path. There's a badger track. The deer will be using it. The foxes will be using it. And it's a case now of working out this camera angle. It had to look as natural as possible. So I used stone and mossy branches around the edge. I want it to become a new habitat for frogs and invertebrates too. In the meantime, I put up a new nest box in the hope of tempting a pair of owls to set up home here. It's really nice and dry in here, which is a good sign. Prevailing winds coming from that direction. So it's almost ideal. It just needs all of this space here in filling so the owls can come in the entrance up at the top. Only a few days later, the pond had its first visitors, starlings. Soon after, the snow arrived and the water turned to ice, catching a few off guard. By night, a badger wandered by, looking for a place to drink, followed by a tawny owl. Perhaps this means she's been checking out my nearby nest box. As winter gave way to spring, more animals came out looking for food and water. A female roe deer passed through, molting the last of her winter coat. In the nest box, a tawny owl pair nested. And by late spring, two chicks hatched. Seven months after the pond was finished, a summer heat wave caused the ground to be parched. And even here in the woodland, all of the plants are drying out and getting very crispy. But just up here is my pond, and it's now needed more than ever for the local wildlife. The pond may be small, but there's been a steady stream of wildlife using it to rehydrate and to cool off. The buzzards enjoy a bit of splashing around followed by a much rarer goshawk. Their broad wings help them maneuver through dense woodland. The tawny owl mum has been a regular visitor, using it to bathe in the summer heat. And at night, my cameras capture the moment her two chicks, now 10 weeks old, visited the pond for the first time. As the leaves fell in autumn, Many birds like pheasants had to fatten up while food was abundant. And some even put on a courtship display. By winter, I've been capturing life at this watering hole for a year. And I'll continue to keep an eye on the wildlife that will benefit from this new habitat. Oh, how good is that? I love that. I'm building one of those in the garden. Come and build one in my garden. Okay. After you've done your No, no, I get it wrong can, in yours. You first. can test it out and then I can have great, a Great idea. <laughs> Good one. Lovely, thanks, Emma. Yeah. All right, it's time to welcome our first guests, Master Chefs John Tarode and Greg Wallace. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you.